What's going on everybody? This is Gerard with ModelCigars.com and today we're going to be discussing cigar flavors and hints. Now one of the things that I use a lot to find out about cigars is absolutely Google and there's a lot of reviews out there that we can read and don't really believe everything I always read especially when I hear things of this cigar will give you flavors of rotten fruit or you get dark fruit flavors or it's going to be musty or baker spice now these are people's opinion and i respect that however i've never tasted rotten fruit i don't want to taste rotten fruit in a cigar i don't know what baker spice is and therefore i make my own judgment one of the things i have learned that have helped me a whole lot is that in our mouth we have four different flavors or we notice four different flavors bitter sweet spicy and sour However, through our nose, we experience a whole lot of different smells. And in the wine industry, whenever people want to drink a new bottle of wine, or whenever they want to drink wine, is they pour a little bit in a glass. Some of them like to be a little bit more sophisticated. And what they do is they swirl the wine and then they take a smell of it. Now, the reason of that being is because we smell a thousand different kinds of smells opposed to having only four, four flavors in our mouth. So. With that being said, what does that have to do with cigar smoking? There's a thing that we call retrohaling through cigars. Whenever you take a cigar drag or a draw of a cigar, you can push the smoke through your nostrils to get a smell and a scent of the cigar flavors. Now, how is this being done? It's pretty simple for me. The way my nasal cavities are constructed through God, it's a lot easier. I just take a draw of a cigar and I just push it through my nostril. My, there are some videos on YouTube that you can find that people demonstrate how to do it. Uh, have some, with, some fun with it. It didn't happen to me right away. I played around a little bit until I mastered it and I can retrohale. Now some cigars are just too strong uh, in flavor, too spicy and peppery and I retrohale a very little bit because it tingles too much and uh, it bothers me. So with that being said, earthy hints. Let's talk about earthy hints. Now earthy hints for me is going to be completely different. I live in California. We are very close to the beach so I get a lot of salty weather and I also get the smell of the beach when I go to the beach. I go to the beach a whole lot. Also we have the um, what we call the Santa Ana wind effects. This happens every fall, the tail end of the fall, beginning of the winter. 50 mile an hour winds coming out of the west, kicks up all the dust. And me, as a child growing up on the playground of Southern California, we experience the Santa Ana winds all the time. And those to me are going to be the memorable earthy hints because that's what I smell living here. Opposed to somebody in the east coast that does experience rain, they have snow, um, they have a lot more greenery, foliage around them, probably depending where they are on the East Coast. Some that live, lives on the farm that works with cattle, um, is always on the horse and is a rancher. The earthy hints for him is going to be completely different than my subjective point of view. So when I read earthy hints of a cigar, I'm always wondering who the individual is, where do they live, what type of memories have they stored in their mind when they were children or when they were kids. For instance, why do I bring that up? When I was 10 years old and I visited my aunt in France, she would always make strawberry jam from her strawberry farm. And every time I make toast up until today, when I open a new can of or a jar of strawberry jam, it takes me back 30 years ago when I was always eating strawberry jam from my aunt's farm in France. So with that being said, that is why I say it's very subjective when it comes to cigar flavors. Now, another thing that I do is I use Google. I love Google. Roma Craft Cro Magnon EMH is the size, and this is a 5 inch by 56 ring gauge. Now, this has a Maduro Connecticut broadleaf wrapper, it is a Cameroon binder, and is a Nicaraguan filler. Now, when I smoked this cigar the first couple of times, I did notice some sweetness, but I couldn't really pinpoint what the sweetness was. And I was very curious to know what was the blend of this cigar. Now, the companies are not going to completely give away what their blend is, but I'm going to get a pretty good idea of what is going on when 
I see some publications out there. So we do know that it has a Maduro, Connecticut broadleaf. It's not San Andreas. It's not a Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania broadleaf. So the reason why I bring that up is because I don't like San Andreas Maduros. Uh, to me, it's a little too peppery and it's overpowering and it takes away the flavor of the cigar. That's my own personal opinion. So it being a Maduro, Connecticut broadleaf, I'm very happy with that. And secondly, the binder is a Cameroon and that's where the bell started ringing for me ding 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 is because a Cameroon cigar uh, or any cigar that has some Cameroon in it is always has that sweetness I know Arturo Fuente uses the Cameroon wrapper on their Hemingway line, line cigar and that is where I um, remembered that I've noticed this sweetness I couldn't pinpoint it until I read Cameroon and with my experience it took me to the Arturo Fuente Hemingway line and I you know, crisscrossed my thoughts. I was like, that's what Cameroon tastes like and that's what it is and that's the sweetness that I'm experiencing. So that's my own opinion. Um, so guys, don't get caught up with literature a whole lot. Um, don't look into, you know, dark fruit or rotten fruit or baker spice or whatever it is. Uh, write down your own notes and make your own judgment and make your own rating of what a cigar is. So speaking of this cigar, go on our website, motocigars.com under brands of Roma Craft, Cro-Magnon is the line, and the name of this cigar size is EMH. Now we do have a whole lot of different sizes. We have the Cranium, we have the Mandible. Oh my goodness, we have the Anthropology. And then this cigar also comes with a Habano wrapper, which is the Aquitaine. So if you want to try something different than just a Madura wrapper, we have the Aquitaine line as well, which is Habano. Anyway, thanks for tuning in, and please remember, if you have any comments or any experience smoking this cigar, please type, type in your comments and I'll be sure to answer them. And please subscribe to our channel. Thank you.